Willkommen, bienvenue, and welcome. I am just another Pokey Dad, and if you know where I stole my intro from, you're my kind of geek, and I say geek lovingly. Today we are back to explore yet another iteration of my Marshadow GX box deck, uh, now with Shining Legends. Um, this is a new build and is doing really, really well. Um, with some great text in it and uh, some, uh, it's just a, a thing of beauty. And um, I'm going to have to change my name, I think, to just another Marshadow Dad uh, because I love Marshadow so much. I've been uh, doing builds uh, with him since Burning Shadows came out, and I am I'm going to make this a viable deck. I s I'm just going to do it. So, uh, the base of the deck, obviously, is Shadow Hunt, where Marshadow can use the ability of any basic Pokemon in your discard pile. So, the key to this deck is getting what you want into your discard pile. But also knowing what you need. Um, so, it's really about playing your opponent's deck. And with the new techs uh, from Shining Legends, this deck works really, really well. You're playing four more Shadows. We're going to go back to the beginning here. Uh, one Drampa. Righteous Edge is a nice attack to get, help get rid of uh, Special Energy. Berserk is a good attack. Big Wheel GX can come in handy early game in this deck. Um, it's an early game uh uh, a GX move if you're going to use it. Um, and you're looking at my hat, I can tell. I can tell. It's, yeah, it's an awesome hat. Um, so, my eyes are right here. Alright, so the new Shining Legends tech, Zorok GX. Uh, this is wrecking the scene in Japan, and it's going to do the same here in America. Um, Zorok GX is a great, great uh, new Shining Legends Pokemon. 210 HP, which is really nice. A stage one. Um, the ability is what you, you're using a lot of the time. Trade. Once during your turn, you may discard a card from your hand and draw two cards. That is built for Marshadow, right there. Discard. Uh, one of your Pokemon, so you get it into your discard. So now you've got a an ability to use or a uh, an attack that that Marshadow can use, um, and you get to draw two cards in the process. We're running two Zorok GXs, so two Zoras, um, and I like the Moonlight Madness Zora. Just um, you're probably not going to use the attack, uh, but you know. It's there if you need it. And again, if it ends up in your discard pile, you can use that with with um, Marshadow. So we're running one Clefairy for Metronome. Choose one of your opponent's attacks and use it as this attack. Metronome is a great um, attack against Gardevoir. It really sways the tide because you can hit them right back with their own attack and a lot of times you can um, get knockouts with that. Uh, so that's always a great uh, attack. I've been playing with Sock, which is not a great card in general, but quick card for one fighting energy prevents all damage from basic po uh, from your opponent's uh, from basic po Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Sorry, can't speak. Um, you don't get to use it again the next turn, but it's a it's a good turn one kind of thing because uh, if you only have one energy on your Marshadow um, and you only have one fighting or of the strong energy, maybe um, you can use Quick Guard. I found that I really wanted to have one fighting attack um, th that I could use uh, for one energy and that was the one i chose so um and 
brick breaks are all right, you know, for a a, a, sm a small attack as well. Two Jolteons, mainly for flash fire, so you can, uh, again, this is a toolbox deck, so if your opponent's, you know, this is great against Bulu, it's, uh, you know, great against uh, uh, Turtonator and Volcanion decks, uh, you just prevent damage. Um, you're playing two of those, and then we've got a couple Jirachis. Um, the first Jirachi, uh, and I don't even, I'm, I'm blanking on, on, on the set, but you can see the, the uh, you know. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, Wish for one Psychic Energy, shuffle your, search your deck for a card, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck after. That's a nice, nice little... Uh, ability or uh, attack to to get whatever card you need when you need it uh and then stardust jirachi for his stardust uh discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active pokemon and if you do prevent all the effects of attacks including damage done to this pokemon during your next turn that's a great great barrier attack then we've got one espion oop we did have an Espeon EX, and I think I just deleted him out of the deck. Uh, so we're going to have to put him back in. Um, I'm going to pause, do that. Okay, we're back. Uh, Espeon EX, Miraculous Shine. Do you evolve each of your opponent's Pokemon, put the highest stage into their hand? That is a great little attack, especially in the current meta with Metagrosses and... Uh, Solgaleos and uh, all uh, uh, Gardevoir uh, too, uh, even Galissapod. Um, that's a nice little attack to set them back, especially if they're they're rare candying into them. But Psy Shock is also a good attack um, because it isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. So it cuts through um, mini Ninetales and can deal 70 damage. Now, in this deck, you're usually using um, one, maybe two of your fighting energy. So 70 can turn into 110 pretty quick and get a knockout. Uh, but even so, that's a great... It cuts through the damage, which is awesome. And that's uh, also um, Brick Break on Sock cuts through that damage as well. <coughs> Litwick, slightly simmer, search your deck for two cards, discard them, and shuffle your deck afterwards. Early game, you can quickly get, uh, if Litwick's in your discard, you can get your Jolteon, your Glaceon, whatever you need. It's a quick way uh, to pretty much battle compress. Necrozma GX really is in there for the Black Raid GX attack. Uh, if you're facing against um, GX EX heavy uh, opponent, it does 100 damage to all their GX or EX. Um, and then you combine that with Espeon's Miraculous Shine. You hit the GX move, de-evolve. Uh, you can get a couple knockouts right, right there. Another tech in early game. This is really important. Shining Mew, Legendary Guidance. Search your deck for up to two energy cards. Attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like and shuffle your deck. Because this deck runs on specific energy that is a great way to get it onto you and because you can put it on your pokemon in any way you like that is an awesome attack in this deck awesome attack two leles and two glaceons uh crystal ray is the same as the jolteon except it's for uh evolution pokemon so it's another you know shield um but against evolution pokemon lele's self-explanatory they're in every deck they're really important um and because this is a a 
supporter heavy deck and not a, a um, item heavy deck uh, because your uh, Marshadow is weak to, to to Psychic, which is rough with Garbodor. Um, so we don't want to give it too much to work with. Two field blowers because you also run on abilities, uh, Zorok and Marshadow in this deck. So you got to be aware of Garbotoxin. If you see Garbodor hit, you find that field blower, you hold on to it until uh, the, the float stone comes out or whatever, and then you get rid of it, um, and then get rid of those those Garbotoxin Garbodors. Um, four Ultra Balls, draw Pokemon, but get rid of Pokemon with them. That, you want to try and get things into your discard in this deck, so that's how to do it. Um, I've got two stadiums. I'm running one Chaos Tower, just in case, uh, you know, you run up against the old uh, Espeon uh, GX Confusion deck, that'll help. Uh, a Poison deck, that'll help, whatever. Um, Parallel City, you have two choices. One, if you are having a little trouble early game, fill your bench with Pokemon, throw down Parallel City, but face it towards yourself where you can only have three and discard a couple of those Pokemon and get them into the discard. Um, otherwise, you can limit your opponent. Easy way to do it. One Acerola. One Bridget. Now with Bridget, normally I haven't run Bridget in this deck, but I started because you need to get those Zoras out. And you can get one Marshadow, but hit the two Zoras and a Marshadow. If you can do that on turn one... Um, that that is awesome. Uh, two Guzmas, two Ninja Boys. One thing that I really like with Ninja Boy one, if you have to start with something other than a Marshadow, you can then get a Marshadow if you have to. Uh, but two, hit a Lele to your bench, um, and then get what you need, and then later Ninja Boy the Lele into something, and then you can get a Lele back again. I like that. Um, Four Sycamores, because again, you want things in your discard in this deck. Two Psychic's Third Eye, um, a nice way you look at your opponent's hand. And then if you need to, you discard a few cards, draw a few cards. But you're not required to do that, but that's why it's in here, because you can. Uh, Sophocles, again, discard a couple cards, draw some, draw four cards on that one. Four Fighting Fury Belts. Because Marshadow is only 150 and is getting knocked out by just about anything uh, in in the game, at least at 190, he's not getting as big a one-shot. Uh, Metagross doesn't one-shot him. Uh, usually Gardevoir won't one-shot him unless they load up their end, because you only generally run with three energy on so that's 90 so they have to do a hundred so they have to have four energy on and again if they have four energy on and you have uh three you that you just can lay another energy and uh metronome and knock out gardevoir which is nice four uh s strong energy Gives you an extra 20 damage. Again, helps against the Guard of War on the Metronome match, especially. Um, four Double Colorless Energy and four Rainbow Energy. That is the deck. Uh, it runs really well with the Zorok break. I am running um, probably about 80% right now win rate. And uh, I'm going to throw in... I know you're looking at my hat, and, and I don't blame you because it's uh, nice. We were at Disneyland uh, this past week, which is why I haven't posted anything recently, and uh, this was my choice for a souvenir. So um, come back. I'm going to play this deck in a pair of duels, a dual duel, if you will, and we're going to see how it goes. Thank you very much. See you shortly. All right, we are here for a duel. I think I am up against a Drampon Garb, probably, and um, 
it can be a, a little tricky matchup, so let's see how it goes. All right. Not a bad starting hand. We're going to put Mew out just because we can get energy. We'll throw out Azora and that. And we're ready to go. Yep, we're looking at probably Drampa Garp. So, um, let's hit that there. Let's do this, because maybe we can find a Ninja Boy. What do I want? I'm going to want to draw cards. So, uh, I'm not going to bridge it. Even though that would be good, um, I need. I'm going to need to draw a new hand. So uh, on the next turn, I will be ready to go. Um, I'm not going to do it now because I want my DCE. And maybe we bait them into using an N which is fine, uh, or a Guzma. There you go. All right. Well, let's see how this rolls. I'm going to put that there. I ain't giving up energy in this deck because you run so little, but we're going to do that. Because maybe we get lucky. No, we don't get lucky at all. Because now we've got several more shadows. Um, so we're going to have to retreat into Mew. Let's put another more shadow out. Let's get some energy going. We're going to hit the two. Get one on each. Because we have a DCE. All right. I think we're going to be all right here. Drop an energy there. Let's see. What do I want to do? Let's see what's in their hand. All right. We're pretty solid. I'm going to get rid of one of you. I'm going to get rid of Chaos Tower. And I'm going to get rid of Bridget because I don't need it. Draw three. Nice. Let's do that there. And I'm going to hold off on the... So let's hit some more energy. All right. Uh, the double colors goes there. And the fighting is going to go there. All right, we are solid. We are ready to rock and roll. I can Guzma. I'm going to take... Uh, but yeah, he can't Guzma me this turn, which is good, because he just Sycamored. So I'm going to Guzma up uh, Drampa, and beat him to the punch. Now, if I can discard the Stardust Jirachi, that would really be helpful. Um, although, am I Garbotoxined? Yep. So, what do I need to do? I need... I'm going to need... Oh, what do I need to do? Because he's going to get me next turn here. Um, so... I need... do I have? 
Oh, he's weak to fighting. So what am I worried about with Drampa? We're just going to, because I, I have the energy on that I need. That's all right. I know we're garbotoxined at the moment, but we're going to take out Drampa, which is the only threat he's got at the moment. With beat down. All right. <laughs> and we draw into our perfect, perfect need there. And we've got set up with our second, so even though we're going to take some damage here, but... Tough, but here we go, because we will. Get rid of his. Get our abilities back. Then we will trade out Sophocles for two cards. Let's drop that there and draw seven cards. We'll get Drampa and Glaceon into the discard pile. Necrozma in our hand for now. Pretty solid here. So we'll uh, 120, 30, 40, 150 is what I could do. Or, or a metronome for 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 130. So flash ray really is probably my, although nope, I'm going to Stardust now. Protects me gets rid of the energy and then next turn I can flash ray or whatever I can I can find something that'll hit for 130 when I'm protected I can nice thing here is I will uh, put you there Ninja Boy, Lele, and Zora. Right on. Place the DCE there. Let's use Trade. Get rid of Necrozma. Draw a couple. Hold on to our field lower. We're feeling pretty solid, so... Um, I do beat down that should be enough for the knockout. All right. I feel like we're in pretty good control of this deck. Let's see where we stand. We've got one. Two, three, four. So, uh, Trash Lynch is going to be a knockout. Uh, especially if they get a choice band. Um, but a knockout certainly on the one we've got forward. But I've got Guzma. So I can... I think I can Drampa. Take out Drampa is my my goal so I'm not concerned as long as I keep my hand I'm not concerned alright 
Let's see what happens here. He's going to knock me out. I need to bring up Drampa. So I'm going to put up Mew for now. I am going to give myself a fighting energy. Let's get rid of the float stone and the float stone. All right, we're going to trade out Jolteon for a couple more cards. I think I'm gonna put these on the bench in case I have to end up using uh, oh no, I'm going to take the knockout right now. I don't know why I was doinking around. Because I'm going to just end the game. I forgot about weakness for a second. There we go. One in the bag there. Uh, that was a pretty good game. Thank you for the play. And we will see you back here for another match. We are back for another match with the March Shadow GX Zorok GX deck, the new iteration of the March box. Um, I kind of think I'm up against a Sylveon deck, but I'm not sure. Sylveon or uh, maybe Xerneas. Um, and I know Xerneas is a, a little bit of a tough one against this uh, on this. Um, in this deck uh getting a big comeback in the format right now so uh, let's see what we, we are playing against and just see how we uh work with our back against the wall Could be a guard of war deck, but I just don't see it. All right, we can get. Um, I'm gonna put something on the bench, just so I don't get totally hosed, uh, and then I'm gonna wish for a Bridget. next turn. All right. Let's see how we're rolling. What do we got here? Cottony. Shin attack. Bridget. Well, the unfortunate thing is both my um, Zoras are prized, so mm -hmm. I'll run out of battery power. Sorry, get rid of that. So what do I want to put out? Um, I'm going to bring out Sock, just because I can uh, use his. Signal, not having a good uh, show here. Phone's dying. Let's see if I can plug that in while I play. Success. All right, and let's get move me back. Let's draw some cards and get some stuff 
into our discard while we do it. So I have no idea what I'm up against here, but um, all right, well, let's see what we draw in the new hand. Energy is good. Parallel City. Not. I would have rather seen Chaos Tower. But that's alright. You can't win them all. And since I don't even know what I'm up against here. I'm going to keep him a little tight. Let's wish for that sycamore back. Get some things into our discard pile. <coughs> Excuse me. feel like I'm coming down with a little something here. All right. Coming down with bad internet connection, I think. I apologize. That's going to make this go slower than it needs to. Get the joy of another N. But at least I can look at his hand. Acerola Clefairy. Clefable, Whimsicott. All right. Uh, we're going to keep you just in case we take a prize card. Do that. Let's just retreat into you. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty. I can metronome and do eighty plus ninety and make him asleep. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. not even sure what this doesn't certainly not it's a rogue deck uh, so I'm not too concerned about it I'm, although I don't know what I'm playing against really so uh, he's got me confused a little bit I don't know what I'm really grabbing for. Maybe, uh, maybe Stardust Jirachi just for the heck of it. Uh, what does his attacks do? Fairy Wind. You know what? Let's see. I'll wage as a fluff you. And see if I can knock you out next turn. Do I have any way to do 80? Yeah, I can. So if you're still there. We'll enter.
energy drive for the neck out and take three prizes for it. Huh. Nice. I like it, sir. Thanks. Um, let's give this to you. Let's just see what he's got in his hand. I don't know if he's just not drawing energy or is he running so little I, I, I don't know what to make of this energy drive for 80 90 so I may as well just do this and maybe He goes to sleep. We'll see. No. Sorry. Rude of me. Uh, this is an odd, odd match. Um, but I think now I'm going to do this so I can't be asleep or paralyzed. And I'll just energy drive. I don't, I honestly have no clue what's happening in this, but we're going to, just so we can put Zora out, why not? And let's see if we win the game on the next turn, because he never got a single energy out. I don't know what's going on. Uh, I don't know what the point of his deck is. If anybody knows, put it in the comments down below because I'm not really sure what the point of his build is. I'm just not seeing it. Um, I mean, obviously, he's wanting to wage his fluff, but, I, but how is he expecting to beat anything I, is what I don't understand. Well, I don't know why I would do this is kind of dick so that I was doing that when all I need to do is uh, energy drive knock out and take my prizes well that was that game um, I may sh showcase this in another match later um kind of late tonight so I'm going to call in a night uh, with that so uh, I would love to hear your comments down below um, subscribe would really mean a lot to me um, let's look at the stats uh, he did no damage he didn't ever attack so this wasn't really a match uh, for the books sorry there uh, K2 2011 um sorry um thank you very much for watching we're gonna keep working on this deck i would love to hear your comments down below um and please remember to uh be kind be safe and be happy thank you very much for watching